are millions of colors, some hues you can't see. To pick just one favorite, how can it be? <laughs> You'll find that compliments mix at the beach near the shore. Grab a friend, someone bright. It's better with more. Though a life washed in grayscale finds happiness too, the kids who share colour no half tones won't do. Because here life is monochrome, a bit black and white. Kids shine out their love to reflect hope and light. We all saturate life with places and things, but some discover hues in each other that cling. Yet if one day your favourite hue, and just for you, bold and true, faded from view, what would you do? Would it be worse and feel like a curse if your hue, your favourite, changed to a palette all new? Near Paint Park and Crayon, they met after school. Her hair bright and gold, his eyes green and cool. She said, hi, I'm Blondie. I'm just here for a bit. He said, hi, I'm Grizzly. Let's chat as we sit. They talked there for hours about his drawing and her songs. As daytime grew dimmer, their colours glowed strong. Blondie left on her boat, but kept Grizz on her mind. Cross the sea, she had said, new hues you will find. Though he'd taught little ones to find colour where they could, at home all his tones wouldn't stay like they should. So Grizz knew to be happy, he must follow his dreams. Find hues, draw pictures, sell the ocean that gleams. Sailing farther than ever from family and friends, Gris found past the docks tons of fun with no end. Hand in hand, they both harmonized colorful schemes. Red, blue, and yellow mixed and matched like his dreams. But Blondie and Gris and the color they did wear, well, they'd both start to fade for a storm shade did swell. Dark storms try to steal all the colours we hope stick. Their rain, wind and waves flood our lives oh so quick. Our two heroes were washed far from shore in each other. Their colours spilled, drowned and rinsed in a bother. As they fought to hang on to once permanent hues, friends yelled, this storm will pass, just like they all do.
They were drifting and drained, clinging tight to debris. The wreckage that floated was bleached by the sea. We can build boats from what floats, Chris shouted, then sighed. And the colour might come back too if we tried. But Blondie stared back towards the sea and just said, I want to go home, see Odd Hughes, rest my head. Feeling gloomy and grey, Gris declared or distraught. My favourite colours won't stick like I thought. Why do all of these people even try to rebuild? Who cares about hues that would just end up spilled? So I'll sit here and draw till I'm feeling less blue. Black and white from now on, we'll just have to do. Now, dear reader, here's a secret that might be of use. Our hues stay in our hearts like grass and grape juice. And if time spent alone feel a little bit strange, don't dwell on lost colours or how they have changed. Because no matter the storm and no matter the colour, rainbows are made from our love for each other. And if you remember that you are a hue, because someone somewhere loves the hue that is you, then colours that ran from your hands and your head will spill out your heart in a spectrum instead. So after the storms disappear from your skies, you can dry yourself off, catch your breath and realise, just past the horizon are dreams and new hues. So thank family and friends, hoist your colour, spread the news. I'm colour, your colour, together we glow. Black, white, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, go!